Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Eastside James, content creator on Twitch, YouTube, and TikTok. I'll put the links in the description below, and thanks for stopping by. Today we're going to be doing key mapping a controller to COD Mobile on Game Loop. Here we go. Once you've opened up your game, so like uh, for me, I'm going to uh, shrink down my screen and the easiest way to get the key mapping for multiplayer is go in your settings wheel go over to basic roll on down to this custom layout open that up hit your control key to reopen the mouse and then we're going to go through here and we're going to hit the key mapping up on the top of the option. Now we have the key mapping going. It's on the gamepad and we're on the setting for multiplayer right there. First thing we need is the directional button. Second thing we're gonna need is the game camera. The directional button is what's gonna allow us to uh, move around and uh, uh, the camera is what we're gonna look at, right? So I'm just gonna move this over to here because that's where it is in the game. And then so uh, the look around, I'm just gonna move that right here. All right, so we're good on that. So now, move this back over so I can see the whole. Every time I click on the screen, it's gonna give me an option to add a button. So what I need is, is I need to be able to switch between these two weapons. So if I put something right in between the two of those right there, and uh, I grab my controller, because I want to, uh, Put that button back on i want to attach that to the y button all right so that part's done all right so now i want a reload button so i come over to the reload and i'm going to attach that to x it's like uh all right so what else do i need i've got my gun switching i have uh my movement i have my look i have a reload and so uh now i want frags right so i'm gonna um rb the frags and I'm not going to put it over the arrow itself because I don't want to switch between the two of them. I don't have a lot of bot buttons to go. So, I can, so I'm just going to put it right on top of the frag so that it's able to just uh, get the frag and be done with it. So I can. Uh, now I want to go through my score streaks. I use the first one here for right, this one for down, this one right here for left. All right. Now, because it's like there's this option here for like what's showing on the sentry gun. But I'm not going to use that because we only have three score streaks, and that fourth one is if you picked it up out of a, a box. So I can, uh, I'm not really worried about that for me personally. But what I'm going to do is is take this uh, special ability here, and I'm going to make that the up button. So I can, so then that part is done. Now I need to be able to aim and shoot. So this is the aim, or this one is the aim. Really doesn't matter which one you pick of those. So I can then so uh, it's a uh, Gonna be uh, either one, this one or this one right here. So I can then so it's aim and shoot, or but for the options that I use, I just this is what I need right here. So now I need the aim button. I'm gonna left trigger that. Now I need to be able to shoot. Now I got the the right trigger going. So <clears throat> I've covered uh, being able to aim, being able to shoot, being able to use my ability, being able to use my score streaks, and uh, weapon switching. So then what else do I have left is like I still have the B and the A button left. So I can then for me personally, it's like I'm going to use uh, the A for the jump. And then I'm going to instead of is all like uh, go for the um, the crouch button. Like I am going to go for the drop button, which is uh, prone. That way I can get the, the drop shot in there. But then I'll still be able to uh, run, I'll still be able to, to jump, and uh, I'll be able to slide, plus I'll be able to go prone, which is a big deal to me, because that can help you win gunfight. So I've covered just about the basics. So I could, I'm not worried about the uh, the melee, but what I could do is I am, um, because I still have the, the sticks left, so I could, um, I could put that with the left stick here. So and then we have that covered. And uh, say I'm doing something where I need to take care of the bomb, like an S&D. And uh, I would still have uh, 
Um, let's actually change this out to the right stick. And then we'll make this one. Alright, so now all of this is good. So uh, everything should be functional. Let's get out of here. We're going to save this. Now we have something set for the gamepad. Mouse back. Get rid of this over here. Mouse back again. Then we're going to go full screen. Get the mouse back one more time. And then we're going to save and use this. Alright, so now when we come out of here and we go to uh, multiplayer. That's what we're and we got Hacienda 24. So we're just going to go right in with it. Right. Let me get my headphones on. <laughs> so I can hear the bots. Because the bots know I'm there. They, they know that they're there too. Here we go. We've got controller in hand. Capture the objectives. Here. So I can move. We captured C. I can look. Capturing Bravo. Losing Charlie. I can jump. Losing A. Enemy. Bravo. We lost C. I got my drop shot. UAV spotted. Lost All right. I can shoot. Sensitivities are a little off right now because I usually play mouse and keyboard, but it's functional. I can do this. Keep on them. We're winning this one. Got to make it till we get to a kill streak, so that we can just show that those buttons work as well. My uh, ability is not able to be used as of yet. So it's set on auto run, so I don't need to sniper. to hit a button for a run. Get down, sniper. Nice work. Get ready for the next round. All right, so we haven't made it to a score streak yet. See, like the problem here is, uh, well, I don't have the button shown, but I probably could have hit that objectives. up with the X button. All right, so now my ability is ready, right? So we assign that to the up button. There we go. We just used our ability. Enemy has Charlie. We've taken the lead. Friendly swarm activated. Say my sensitivities are a little off, but that's the benefit of having that drop shot. You'd be surprised how many times that happens to people where they miss an individual that's over there on the ground, too. Now we've got one of our score streaks available. We hit it up. And we're good. Drop shot will come in handy again. Drop the sentry gun. Call in the airstrike. Now that's the problem right there. It's like with the airstrike, I'm unable to free it. Say my sensitivities are a little off right now. But there we have it. We've got a uh, multiplayer key mapping, and uh, hopefully that's helpful for you. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, I'd ask that you uh, like, subscribe, share, tell your friends. Enemy in sight. Thanks for stopping by. If you like what you see, be sure to drop a sub. If you'd like to get into the action and be part of the YouTube videos, be sure to stop by and see me on Twitch. You have a good one.